This is the KEF 104-2 speaker. This was built in the late 1980s and uh, I've had this speaker for about 25, 26 years and what we're going to do today is to take out the KEF T33 tweeter which looks like this and we're going to replace it with this tweeter which is the Morel MDT29. Now obviously you can see the big difference here are the dimensions of these tweeters. This is an internal tweeter so what we're going to be doing is taking apart parts of the speaker and installing the new tweeter. Taking out the old one and installing the new one. First thing we're going to do is to take off the speaker grill which comes off rather easily. Put it to the side right here. The next thing that we're going to do is we need to make it pay particular attention to these mid-range uh, speakers right here. Uh, these cones are very sensitive. This is actually the tweeter that, uh, that is inside the speaker components right now. We're going, that's what we're going to do is take this apart. Uh, right. These are all the, uh, the different tools that I'm going to be using on replacing the tweeter in the KEF 104-2. Uh, soldering iron, a Dremel tool, a Dremel multi-master tool, uh, some pliers, uh, Phillips screwdriver, uh, 3 8 ratchet, uh, a marking pin, and a 5 uh, hex wrench, and a little bit of solder, and we are good to go. After the grill is off, the next thing we're going to do is to take off these four bolts that hold on this assembly of the mid-range speakers as well as the tweeter. To do that, I'm going to use a 3 8 uh, ratchet wrench with a 4 millimeter hex drive. Uh, and this is just real simple. Right here. So we take this piece off right here, and as you can see, the wires are attached right here uh, to this area here, and there's a diagram of how the wires are actually, uh, which wires go to which. So, and these are also show the, uh, the positive and the negatives on how these wires go. So it's a very simple diagram to follow. Okay, so this is the KEF 104 slash 2. This is the main, the mid-range speakers here. This is the back side of up here. I've labeled top right here for reassembly so that I don't get the wires reversed. As you can see, there are wires coming out of the bottom right here, and there are wires coming out of the top. If this is flipped, the wires will be... How easily this thing um, just comes apart. It's just one screw. This piece of wood slides back, and then you're able to uh, carefully remove the damaged tweeter and what happens is this this cone right here does have a liquid in it and this liquid can gum out after about 10 years and and cause the actual tweeter to go bad and again this is the KEF uh, T33 you cannot find these anywhere uh, if you can there are some places that can re re rebuild them but KEF does not manufacture them anymore because they're under new owners uh, so you have to go out and look at a third party tweeter and that's what I've done here and this is the uh, the Morale MD, MDT29. Uh, I researched about six different tweeters. Uh, this seems to be the one that uh, will fit the easiest in here. We do have to do some assembly or disassembly. And what I've done, this these will come off. There's held on with three um, different hex screws. And, uh, and it just takes a 5 64th hex wrench to get that off. And that plate comes off just like that and uh, and that's what the tweeter the replacement tweeter does look like now you can see that there's a pretty big difference there now as far as the depth goes uh, so what a lot of websites that I read and I have seen no video on this is that a lot of uh, people what I've written what I've read anywhere is they will take this plastic edge right here and uh, and basically grind or, or take a Dremel tool and, and cut that down so that that is the same depth so that it fits in there. As of now, if you were to put this in here um, like this, this will not slide over it because of the nut that's on the bottom of that uh, little, little slider board right there. So what has to be done, what I've chosen to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do some assembly uh, to the actual cabinet itself, and so we'll get into that uh, here in a second. So 
if, if, if this, <laughs> this is actually pretty large compared to this, but what I'm going to do is this piece right here, this goes inside of a groove right in here. Go, this groove probably goes in about uh, maybe oh, a third of an inch or so uh, on both sides of this groove right here where this thing slides back and forth and holds the tweeter in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the edge of this little slider thing here and I'm going to get in here with my multi-tool and I'm going to just kind of try to angle that this this kind of like right in here like this and I'm going to try to take all this edge off uh, to about like this all the way across and that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this edge off and I should be able to do it only on one side and it should be able to lock down the tweeter well enough I could do be do it on both sides but you know why uh, we don't need to do that so let's get started here the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, the Dremel and I'm just going to give myself a little room so I'm going to take this slider and I'm going to slide it way off to the right here I'm going to take these wires I'm going to get them out of the way because I don't want to make sure that I don't uh, disconnect anything uh, from the mid-range tweakers and then I'd have to get inside uh, more of the components and I, I don't want to have to do that so I'm going to try to be as careful as I can so all right here we go so I'm just going to bevel this down just a little bit right here So I've kind of got that angled in here a little bit and the whole idea on you know, that bevel on that edge that I just cut off there is now I have a little bit of room uh, that uh, I don't know if I can get the camera here to show this but I've got a little bit room that's the edge that I have not done any uh, uh, cut on right here but you can see right in here that has been shaved down a little bit so uh, let me set this back up again and we'll get back to it So now, with this edge, now I can kind of get down and shave that, uh, the top part of this uh, slider off. And I've got this on about a setting too. on here so I'm just going to have to melt these off with my soldering iron here and just take that off pretty simple and we will take the old and we will bring in the new got the blue went to the positive okay the positive is clearly identified right here on the front of this new tweeter so we are just going to way and we're going to take this and carefully place this in like that and that ladies and gentlemen will fit in there just right it's not real tight it's not real loose just kind of widgy that thing on there Center it up. Phillips screwdriver. Wires are all attached. Now we just want to put this back on carefully and I will rest that bottom edge like that. 